76 class 9th science for the date 22nd January. Our chapter why do we fall is going on. Today we will discuss about the means of spread. Ki bimariya kaise fhalti hai. We know that disease can be communicable and non-communicable. Matlab ek se dusre mein ja sakta hai aur nahi bhi ja sakta. Any microbial agent can move from affected, infected to a healthy person in many ways and the, these disease causing microorganisms known as pathogens are able to spread through various means like air, water, physical content etc. And means of spread of these affect the area and pace at which disease spread. So let's see what are the different means of spread of disease. Through contaminated air it may be there by sneezing, coughing, microbes and results in the common cold tuberculosis and pneumonia. Through contaminated water like microbes enter in our body by drinking, eating polluted contaminated water results in cholera, amoebic dysentery etc. Through contaminated medical equipment, syringe, thermometer, gloves etc. Vectors some infected organisms like dogs, cats, monkey and mosquitoes spread the disease like rabies, malaria, dengue, fever etc. Through sexual contact, AIDS, syphilis etc. And through physical contact like fungal yeah, scabies. You have, these are the diseases as you can see from the picture also. This is your NCRT picture only. Now what is AIDS? AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. It is caused by retrovirus HIV also known as human deficiency immunovirus. Method of transmission is sexual contact, blood transfusion, use of infected needle, blade and from mother to fetus. Different prevention methods are avoiding transfusion of infected blood done by checking if the blood is HIV negative or not. Always use disposable needle or syringe. Avoid same razor use in saloons. Question answers. First question. What are the modes of transmission of disease? So first and second question answer is common. You can write through contaminated air, through contaminated water, through contaminated medical equipment, vectors, through sexual contact and through physical contact. So you just write the headings only. Write two examples each of that can be spread through water, air and vector. So just you have to write air, water and vector bone disease. So out of these three, you have to write two two diseases like for air you can write common cold and tuberculosis, for vector you can write rabies and malaria and for uh, water you can write cholera and amoebic dysentery. So question number one and two answer is there in the this paragraph only. Next is what is the full form of AIDS? It's acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This is the answer number three. What are the methods of prevention? This is answer number four. Avoid transfusion of infected blood. Always use disposable needle or syringe. Avoid same laser use in the saloons. So this is how you do the question answers. Hope